Let me know if this has ever happened to you. Come on, my controller's messed up, man. I can't think with all this noise. This stage is messing with my eyes, I can't see straight. Really, you're gonna use that character to counterpick me? I left my baby in the oven, man, I can't think straight. Yeah, I would like to report a murder. That type of stuff sucks, doesn't it? All right, so that type of stuff happens a lot. And if it hasn't happened to you yet, probably because you haven't played enough people. So in any type of competition, there's always that certain person that comes up with any excuse out of the book to cover up their shortcomings. Well, competitive gaming is no different. It doesn't matter if you're using a high tier character, a low tier character, one who wants to stay in the back and camp a lot, one who wants to be in your face, be overly aggressive. Regardless, if you're against that type of person, they're gonna criticize you no matter what. They're gonna talk about your character. It's inevitable. And you wanna know what I have to say to those type of people? You mad, scrub? I have seen a lot of people over the years kind of migrate from the character that they like or that they you know, are very good with or very comfortable with simply to just appeal to the masses. Or, or, or maybe they don't wanna get booed off stage while on live stream, or maybe they don't wanna get verbally abused at a tournament or online. And all that stuff is honestly disgusting. Not playing the character you wanna play just to appease an audience is not only decreasing your ability to win that match, but to be a better player overall. If you wanna play a high speed, in your face, fast paced character, play Sheik, play Captain Falcon, play Fox, play, play whoever you want. If you don't, if you want to stay in the back, if you want to camp, play Rob, play Villager, play Toon Link. It doesn't matter regardless of what anyone else says. You play who you want to play. Later for the criticism. Who cares if they call your character brain dead? Who cares if they say you're using a top tier character? You know what to say to them, right? You mad, scrub? I made to Meta Knight in Brawl. You want to talk about criticism? In the early days of Brawl, you couldn't go to any tournament using Meta Knight without somebody coming after you. Without somebody saying your wins weren't yours, they were the characters. Without someone saying, oh man, this is BS, you're using a crutch. There was a time where they banned that character pretty much nationally. And then what happened? Ice Climbers was dumb. Snake was dumb. There's always going to be some type of argument about your character. Since this game's release, I've mained Sonic and Luigi. That's right, back when Luigi could down throw you and then just think of something and then you're dead. He had that many options after a down throw. Back when Sonic could spin dash and do about 30% per spin dash combo. Back when his back throw would kill you at like 110% when he had rage. Those characters were dumb and pretty easy. People would ask me how I sleep at night using these type of characters. You wanna know what I said to him? Like a baby, you mad scrub? You handle character criticism? by continuing to play that character. You handle it by going to tournaments, having that character ready, ready to body anybody in your way. If they lose, they lose. That's on them, not you. If this is the 10th time they face your Rosalina, they don't feel like playing the patient game and they keep getting bodied by her limbs. If this is the 10th time they face your Bowser and they don't know what to do about his side B, if this is the 10th time that they face your Mario and they can't get around your up smash, you think Ally would have quit if he gave in to people harassing him about using up smash all the time? No. What do you think he does? He continues to up smash. He up smashes religiously. He up smashes into an up smash. Look, if someone's a jerk enough to constantly use your character as the reason why they lost, then inside of them is something you cannot change. No matter if you switch off your character or not, they're still gonna have that excuse waiting for you. It is up to you to have that discipline to keep on trucking with your character to be the best that you can possibly be. Ignore what the internet trolls say, ignore what the peanut gallery has to say. Disappointing people who want you to lose anyway, that doesn't matter. Disappointing yourself because you switched off of a character and you ended up losing the match or you ended up not playing to your fullest, as a competitor, that's, that's, that's terrible. So remember, if anyone comes after you about your character choice or why you're doing something in a match, why you're playing a certain way, just ask them. You mad, scrub? I just wanted to make this quick video for you guys because I've seen this happen so many times over, over such a long time. Not even just in the Smash community, but in the FGC as well. I've seen it in Street Fighter, um, back in NBC3, before Ultimate. You know, back when Phoenix was extremely broken, the most retarded thing in existence. I've seen it. I've seen it, but even people, when people say these things, don't let it deter you.
Now, I would love to continue this video, honestly, because there's a lot more I have to say about this topic. But unfortunately, my city is getting attacked right now by a bunch of mutated squirrels. And I live in Raleigh, North Carolina. We're not really equipped to deal with this type of crap. So I got to do what I got to do. <laughs> Until next time, stay cool, crew. Boy, that's just crazy.